and welcome back. Today I thought I would do a little dollar store spring decorating. This always, it cheers me up and it brightens up my space and I have a case of the winter blues because it's still freezing outside. So who knows, maybe this will make it feel warmer and if nothing else, it definitely makes me happy. So here we go. How cute is this plate from Walmart? I had to get it, it was just $9 and I topped it with a pot from the Dollar Tree, a dollar store greenery ball where I removed the bottom so it sits in a little bit nicer, and Dollarama here in Canada had this little fake stone pot filled with succulents. I added two more Dollar Tree succulents to fill it up and finished it with a dollar store bunny. It looks so sweet. I added some more little accessories on either side, but I love the way it looks. I'm going to share with you how to paint dollar store bunnies to get them to look more rustic in a minute. I'm adding some dollar store fake flowers to these painted uh, mason jars. I just cut some dollar store flowers up in little tiny pieces and added some dollar store eggs in different colors that I had found to make a really pretty centerpiece. I'm adding some little bunnies. Again, these are from the dollar store. They look like this when you get them, but I add some chalk paint over top and then I dry brush on white and dark wax to really age them. And I'm going to show you this is throughout the house. I've done this. It looks really sweet. I filled an old bird cage with some dollar store candles and and some dollar store little eggs for the complete look. You guys know I love the Dollar Tree chargers, just a dollar each, and the plates are from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm just adding some flowers and some Dollar Tree eggs into the napkins as a little napkin ring holder, I guess, and I really like the way it turned out. It's very simple, really pretty, and the best part, on a small budget. For the mantle, I'm adding some dollar store spring flowers into the vase and just a, one of those garlands across to add some pops of yellow. This again is a dollar store bunny. It didn't look like this, but this is one that I'm doing this year. Added chalk paint over top, dry brushing white and brown over top to really age it. I did the same technique for these dollar store plastic birds and bunnies throughout my house. They look old and rustic and a lot more money than just from the dollar store. I also use the same technique for paper to age this banner, dry brushing on blue, dark brown and white to really age it. And the end result is a really rustic and sweet dollar store decor. I added more pops of yellow with this inexpensive pillow and I just hot glued on some felt to make these sweet flowers. Here's the kitchen again with that little dollar store uh, decor in the corner and the mantle's probably my favorite spot. And you can grab the banner for my free printable. I'm going to put the link below. What are you waiting for? Head to your local dollar store and pick up some spring and Easter decor today. I found this amazing sign from the Dollar Tree and I'm putting it behind this wreath that I've had to just add even more pretty spring color to my front door. And speaking of my front door, you guys, wait till you see my new doormat. I'm so in love with it. Shut the front door. How cute is that? I love it. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more organizing, cleaning, and DIY videos each and every week. See you then. Hey guys, so thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. Every time I do these type of videos, like I'm decorating for Valentine's Day or fall or, you know, Easter, spring, summer, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of totes in my basement. I get a, a couple different kinds of comments. One is, you know, they do it too and they're like, oh yeah, it's so pretty. Or people who are like, why do you waste your money on that? You're such a weirdo. Or there's those people that hurt my heart and are like, I wish I could do that. I wish I had the time or I feel guilty that I don't do that. And so this little ranty roo at the end is for you. If you fall into that category, because social media, when you're, if I'm on YouTube or you're on Pinterest or Instagram, you're probably bombarded by people who are like DIYing some Easter wreath or some crap. And we can feel, we can feel pressure that that's like part of momming or adulting or something and it's totally not. The reason that I do this is because I enjoy it. I like decorating. I like making things pretty. I like crafting, but that crap can get super expensive 
So this gives me an opportunity to change my house, but from the dollar store. I'm stuck in this place 24 seven staring at the same four walls. I need change. I wanna like redecorate it all the time, but Joe would kill me. So I go to the dollar store and I buy some crappy dollar store flowers and I paint some bunnies till one o'clock in the morning cause it makes my heart feel full and it changes my space a little bit. It just, I don't know why, it's a hobby, right? That's my hobby, but if you don't enjoy that, why the heck would you feel pressure or waste your time doing it? I don't bake, I don't cook, I don't run. There's lots of things that you probably do or other people do. Everyone's got their thing, you know what I mean? And so I don't want anyone to feel pressure or that it's something you have to do, this type of stuff. Is it weird? It sure is. Is it normal? No, it isn't. But there are people who enjoy it and that's why they do it. And that doesn't mean you have to feel pressure to do it. So you do you. Whatever crazy weird thing it is you love to do. Sudoku puzzles. I don't know. Whatever you're into. That is all that matters is that it makes you happy. Which is why I throw some dollar store stuff around every couple of months and completely try to change the look of my house. Also so Joe doesn't kill me and I don't spend thousands getting new furniture. It's like a win for everyone. I just thought I'd share that with you and I'll see you next time.